Hey everybody, my name is Miles. And my name is Anna. And this is Shuri. So Shuri here is a one-year-old Japanese Shiba Inu, and we love him because he's such a cuddle monster here. <laughs> <laughs> so here today we're going to talk about neutering. Neutering. And our experience with neutering Shuri. To start off, neutering is a surgical procedure where you chop their junk. Chop their, uh, they don't chop their junk. They chop their balls. Hi -ya! Chop, chop their junk. Sorry, chop their balls. Oh wait, oh, chop their balls. Hi -ya! Chop their balls. You have no balls left now, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You're like, mm -hmm. nope. You have no, you guys want to see? You see? You have no balls. Mm -hmm. You still have your junk. So what happened on the day of his neutering day? Well, we woke up earlier than usual. Yeah, we went in at 8 a.m. So pretty much the vet said 8 a.m. until 4.30. So mm -hmm. we didn't pick him up until like 4.30 p.m. When we did pick him up, he was looking extremely playful. Well, even the nurse was saying... Yeah, the nurse was telling us how... Even like an hour or two hours after the yeah, surgery... Yeah, he recovered and he was just... Yeah. all lively and everything as if nothing even happened yeah most dogs will be like high on the medication yeah. so they actually didn't put a cone of shame on him mm -hmm. when we picked him up because he wasn't licking his wound he didn't start licking his wound until maybe two or three hours after we took him home probably because the meds started to wear off he finally thought that oh there's something wrong here yeah <laughs> right why is there an incision that's like itchy or something right. so he started licking then he, we didn't put the tube of shame until he started licking the wound. So the first time we put the tube of shame on him, he, he pretty much shut down. Because first of all, he doesn't like wearing clothes. We just kind of force I don't know if him. it's a Shiva thing. Um, <laughs> comment down below. But if you have a Shiva and he also hates costumes, Shuri does not like costumes, does not like to wear raincoat or boots or anything. So the tube of shame is... Not an exception either. <laughs> <laughs> the first night was extremely difficult for us. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it felt like it was back to his puppy stage mm -hmm. when he would keep whining and crying Through the every night. single night. Yeah. Yeah, he, he whined, he cried for a couple of hours. Yeah, until around 3 or 4 a.m. 3 or 4 a.m. And then he finally realized, like, we're, we're not, not coming gonna come down. down. Yeah. yeah, we're not coming down. And make and sure you have to be down. consistent. You have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Or else, if he thinks that we give in, that's... Like, he's, he's going to cry or whine every single time. Now, I know a lot of owners would hear their dog crying and whatnot and probably want to go check on them. So, mm -hmm. we actually set up a nest camera uh, right where he yeah, kept them. We set useful. up his pen again, so right now he doesn't use his pen anymore. But after he got neutered, we set up the pen just so he stays safe. And we have the camera over there, so we know exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And he looked like he was whining. There was major whining. Oh no, whinage. he was whining. Yeah. Like, I think I took a picture from the nest cam. Yeah. And uh, he looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking right at the camera, right? Yeah, yeah he was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, help me. Just come down. No, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap, guys. So a big tip is don't give it to your dog. Just be consistent. The be persistent. I remember seeing on the Shiba Reddit, I believe, that the harder you are on your dog after putting him in the cone of shame, oh, yeah. the easier will it will get throughout oh, the yeah. week. And that is absolutely true. Like how long did it take? Like maybe four or five days? Yeah. And like, that's because Shibas are strong-willed. Yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But then by the fourth day, he was okay. He still hates the tube of shame, but he kind of got used to it. It's just like, oh, I, I guess I'm stuck with this forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he started playing again and accepting training again uh, he was, after four days. Yeah. I remember when he had the two of shame, he wouldn't even take treats. No. He would he would do his... Um, he was protesting. Yeah, definitely protesting. He, he doesn't want to do anything. It's like, until I get this tube off, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> we did take the tube off whenever we would go on walks. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just to give him a little bit of a breather. Since he was protesting, we also mm -hmm. fed him by hand. Because remember that one time when we put the... We have a lot of <laughs> slow feeders and we put the, the food mm -hmm. in that slow feeder. It was like a maze. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, he's trying to paw it, but he can't he see at the same it. time. <laughs> so he's like, where's the food? So he just gave up. 
You just totally gave up. No, he gave up. So, so we just hand fed him. <laughs> On the second day, Shuri's incision started to swell and we got a bit worried. No, we were pretty worried because yeah. I always take a picture. I was trying to take a picture every single day to make sure that his incision is healing up how it looks like on the first day to make sure that it, it didn't get worse or anything like that. So actually, actually on the night of the first day, it started to become a little red. Mm -hmm. Like it was a little red, um, like where his junk is. And on the second day, it seems like it swelled up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like it got a little bit bigger with the red part, the patch. Now the vet told us that there would be a little bit of swelling, but we were comparing it to other photos that we saw online and it didn't really, it, ours looked a lot worse. Yeah, it was pretty red. Yeah, so <laughs> then we got a little bit worried. We started sending all the photos to our vet and... His junk was red, his um, balls part was red as mm. well. The sack part was red. The sack was actually bigger. Yeah than yeah. original. It looked like he still has his balls yeah. <laughs> for some reason. I figured but it was just filled with blood. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's internal bleeding, but we were very worried. Mm -hmm. So that's why we emailed them. Mm -hmm. Good thing we, we get to email them and they replied instantly, like almost immediately. They told us that everything looked normal. Everything mm -hmm. was healing properly. I don't know if you guys want to see some pictures because... Um, oh, we're going to show them. <laughs> Because I took some pictures like the first, second, third, fourth, <laughs> the whole week of um, of how his wound was healing. Uh, these, just warning you guys, this can be pretty graphic. So Here it is. If you, <laughs> if you don't want to see it, just <laughs> look away or, or, or skip this part or something like that. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll show you some pictures. Yeah. Anyways, one week later, uh, Shuri was cleared to remove the tube of shame. That was considered fast already. Too. It was, yeah, it's considered very fast. Yeah. Um, we brought Shuri over to the vet and they took a look at the incision. Uh, everything was healing nicely. He did so well. There's a couple things that we did notice after we gave him, you know, mm -hmm. the chop, the ball chop. The haya chop. The haya chop. The haya chop. <laughs> Hiya! The most important thing, in my opinion, because I've read all of these testimonials online about neutering, how it changes personality. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that he's exactly the same dog uh, in terms yeah, of personality. Yeah, he did not change Not one, one bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. Still lively, energetic. The humping. The humping's gone. The, oh my oh, gosh. Goodness. The humping. <laughs> I, I can't stand a furry thing like on <laughs> my leg and the, knee. The humping is gone. And it, 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 was, it was just night and day, right? Even just a week before the the neuter, he was just on a, a hump frenzy. And then as soon as he got back, took off the tube of shame, humping's gone. That's why we didn't even bother with any dog parks or anything like that. Even socializing, it's mm -hmm. all on leash because mm -hmm. we're so scared of him humping other dogs he would still mark on occasion but it's slowly transitioning to longer peas but what there's no more leaking smegma <laughs> oh my gosh you know every single morning he always rolls on his back and it's like oh pet me belly rubs <laughs> and you see smegma like right at his junk area yeah every single time i think the best part is he did not well, at the moment, he didn't gain any extra weight as well. So. And from what we've, uh, we were reading, that neutering will cause weight gain. Mm -hmm. uh, we were actually very strict with his diet, making sure he... Well, we were very strict from the very beginning. Yeah, from the very too. beginning. Yeah. Yeah, restricting the uh, amount of food that he eats. Amount of treats. Amount of treats. Yeah. So wrapping this up, uh, this, is, this, was our, this was our experience with the neuter. And it was... A pretty good experience, I would say. It I wouldn't say it was fun. <laughs> I mean, I was so nervous at first for mm -hmm. him, but um, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, we just want him to, to live, live long longer. Life. Yeah. yeah, it's what the Chinese people always say: long life. Long life. Long life. <laughs> long life, right, Shuri? Yeah. We want you to live longer. Come here. Mm. You see, he's so happy now. He's so happy, happy. You're so happy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Where's your energy? Oh. Oh. 
Is it everyone's favorite? Alright, you two. If you <laughs> like this video, remember to give us a thumbs up. Pop. Now put your hands up. Put your paw up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you next time. It looks like he's a little camera shy right now. He also just farted. <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> it doesn't help that we're recording right now and you, you smell some fart right up here.